Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Nightbell, and we're playing Genshin Impact again today! Hooray, we're back with Genshin Impact! If you don't recall, last time we were kind of struggling between doing the Klee event or just doing the summer thing. Um, because we kind of left Klee hanging, I think we should probably help her out a little bit first. She's still stuck in her door. Poor Klee. Um, and then we can do our best for the summer event. So without too much further ado, let's head right on into it! Okay, so, looks like we have a bunch of stuff to do. We're gonna ignore the commission, and... Let me see, where is it? And of course I can't find it. We did Mondstadt's stuff. Well, that's kind of cool, though. It tells you what you've done, but... Oh, we completed Klee, Act 1. So that's it? Well, I guess she's free then. Never mind. Oh, Jean's not here either. Okay, well, <laughs> good job, Klee! I guess that's it for, for Klee's quest. <laughs> uh, which means... It's not here. <laughs> it's this one? Mm, yeah, this is the one that I've only got four days left to do. <laughs> And then there's Secret Summer Paradise. This is the one we can quit start. Okay, let's do this one and struggle through. <laughs> Onward! Hello? Invitation from afar! It appears Master Jean needs assistance. Let's go. Good thing we're already there. Seems Jean wants our help with something. We could go pay a visit to the Knights of Avonis when we have a mint. Yeah. <laughs> Traveler, I've been waiting for you. Hi. Oh, looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Klee and Kaya are here too. Hi, Klee and Kaya. Oh, it's Paimon and Miss Honorary Knight. <sighs> it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> ah, look who it is. Hello. You've caught me completely off guard this time. But then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. I don't trust you, Kaya. <laughs> Guess we were so excited to see Jean again that we forgot to knock. I hope we didn't startle anyone. We were there. You guys just spawned in. Uh, wait a sec. You weren't talking about anything that we're not supposed to hear, were you? Uh, so no one here ordered Good Hunters? Sorry, I must have the wrong address. Hey, stop pretending like we're doing food delivery. It's been a while since we last met, but I can see you two haven't changed one bit. Really? Don't worry, we weren't discussing anything confidential. In fact, we were just talking about you. Okay. Maybe we should let the star of the story explain in their own words. Is it clean? Yeah! Let me tell it! Let me tell it! A few days ago, I was reading Todoko Tales in the solitary country room when all of a sudden whoosh a letter came flying in through the window uh-huh flying through the window how did a letter fly like a bird does it was flapping its wings it could even talk it said um well it was a bunch of stuff i didn't understand you couldn't understand then it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. Oof. Ahem. <clears throat> Kaya? Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment slip by. Hi, why are you so weird and slippery? <sighs> okay, I know. Anyway, the letter said, Oh, Clee, are you behaving? I see you've wound up in the solitary room again. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play, but there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited 
you to visit her. Okay. Oh, so the letter's from Alice. I'm guessing that's your mom? That sounds great, doesn't it? In principle, yes. But the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. But the letter's from her. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? The letter says that mom's friend lives in Sumeru. I always thought it was Sumeru. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Clea off to Sumeru on her own. Sumeru. But Clea is rather intent on taking Alice's friend up on this invitation. Yeah! I really want to go! Oh, you see? So we were wondering, who can we send with her on the journey? Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and with a history of saving Mondstadt. You? Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you so well. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. Thanks, Jean. <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? <laughs> can you really miss our merry night? It would be my pleasure. Thanks, Clee. See, I told you that you'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Clee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. Thanks. And you Kaya. too, Kaya. You should join them. Mm -hmm. I noticed you quietly completed that backlog paperwork we had. You deserve the chance to unwind a little. Okay. Oh, so you noticed. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. Oh, he was going to use that as his reason to refuse. Great! He's going even more smoothly with Kaya around. Still, Sumeru is pretty far. It's going to be a long journey. Yeah, but we can teleport. Don't worry. Mom's letter had a magic invite inside. Okay. Mom says we it's just really have to all shout out where we want to go at the same time. And poof! We'll be there in the blink of an eye. So this is going to be a lot like the Harry Potter flu powder thing, I think. And one of us is going to end up way somewhere else. It's a problem. Wow. Well, that'll definitely make things easier. It only works three times, though. So we should only use it when we really need to. Three's funny. One for the way there, one for the way back, and one extra just for good measure. Sounds very mysterious. I still think we should use it sparingly. After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed or what dangers we may encounter on the way. I agree. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, you're well connected. Am I? I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. Uh, yeah, please. I say we start. It'll give a chance to test out the magic invite and also find ourselves a local guide. If you say so. Hmm. That kind of makes sense. And since it had a few sisters, there's no point letting one of them go to waste. Couldn't have put it there myself, Paimon. What happened to using it sparingly? So... <laughs> well, we need someone who's familiar with Sumeru and can be our guide. So, sounds like we need a forest ranger. Or Lisa. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... Gandarvaville. The one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. Who? All right. Gandarva it is. Okay. I'm happy wherever we go, especially with Kaya and Miss Honorary Knight. Aw, Klee's so cute. We should be on our way then. If you'll excuse us, acting Grandmaster. Yes. Let the wind lead. I wish you a safe journey. And Klee... I know, I know. I'll be careful, I promise. As long as she's being okay. careful. Okay, you guess nothing. Take us to... Gandarvaville! Gandarvaville. Gandarvaville. Grand Arbor Hill! I knew it. No, it's not a hill! Ah, <laughs> See, if I had the chance to say it, I'd be like, so can everyone say it first before we use the magic artifact? But no. <laughs> <I'm sighs> we made it. 
Paimon was sure we were about to end up someplace super weird. Like Grand Arborville? <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. It's okay, Klee. Good news is, this magic invite really does work. So why not use it just to go straight to the friend, though? Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt, the next we're in Sumeru. Uh-huh. So this is where Mom's friend lives? Wow! There are so many big flowers! Oh, and jumpy mushrooms! Uh-huh. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet! Sumeru's full of strange stuff like this! This is true. Like, um... Like... What would she enjoy? Boars with mushrooms growing on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon was pretty creeped out the first time we saw one of those. Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one, it try to hit you with its cap. Really? Okay, well, I'll hit back with my cap. Except your cap is soft. And okay. then I'll hit it with the hood of my jacket, too. <laughs> I'll definitely win if it's two hats against one. Yeah, Clee, you show them. As long as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. But Clee's a friend, so we should be able to convince her to keep this trip explosion free. Right? Why? Uh-huh. I'll be extra careful not to blow anything up. Um, I mean, I'll try my best. Uh-huh, that's very good of you, Clee. You're being very grown up today. I'm like Paimon. Yep, I'm super grown up. I'm already the Spark Knight. Okay, Spark Knight. Well, keep up the good work, because very soon we'll be introducing you to a friend of ours called Tainari in Garvaville. Yeah. Well, we can find her, but let's see what's here first. Investigate. Mission Nice. There was a teleportation waypoint I should have gotten. Oh well. Uh, hey, look! It's Kale! Huh? And is that you, Louisa? What's she doing in Gandarvaville? I don't know. Hmm. I've definitely heard the other forest rangers mention somebody dressed like that before. Trainee forest ranger! Holly. I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Hmm? Who do we have here? Meet me. Eula! Most courteous. Traveler and Paimon! Huh? Oh! Kaya and Klee are here too! Mm -hmm. Coincidence. I didn't expect to run into a fellow Vonian captain this far from Mondstadt. How's vacation going? Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? Okay. Is it just Paimon, or does you not look particularly thrilled right now? Who's up for some afternoon oh, tea? cool! Great idea! Let's go! If you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. Oh, it's embarrassing to her. Uh, but earlier you were... Great. Well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Dumeru. Do share it with us. No, no, Kai, the Kai's weird. Kai uh, sure looks like he's getting a kick out of this. That's if you must know, know, it's a little complicated. But, simply put, I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lauren clan. Okay. He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that left here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. Okay. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? What was he going to do, enroll the academia? 
Well, that would be quite a roundabout way to achieve his goal. I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. Oof. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has any interest in intellectual pursuits. Hefty oof. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing wrong with that idea in principle, but I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So, there's no knowing what lengths he might go to. Also oof. As a knight and member of the Lawrence clan, it's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. Okay. Oh, -ho. If this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Monsta is no mean feat. There is a puppy behind Kaya. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. <laughs> he has no idea what's coming to him. You know, underneath it all, Paimon thinks you was a really caring person. You? Yeah, she's the best! She brought me some moon pie last time. Aww. <clears throat> he is family, after all. Anyway, we'll make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. You're really going the extra mile for him. <sighs> now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? Magical invitation because Klee wants to see her mom's friend. Mm, I'm afraid that could be tricky. Master Tainari is still at parts of the eye delivering his lectures. Uh, he isn't due back for a while. You want to take his colleague? But I think I'll be able to help out. The description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure it's hinting at somewhere in the desert. Nice. The desert? Hmm? Does that mean Mom's friend is from the desert? Hmm. I guess I'll be on Team Desert for now. I remember Mount Matra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. Okay. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Okay. Ah, wait, wait. He said I should just call him Sino. Mm, I keep forgetting that. <sighs> a domain that makes people's wishes come true. Wow. So is it true? Does it really exist? The puppy is very cute in the background there. I probably would have believed it a few years ago, but now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. Trust but verify. Let's go. This explains a lot. Hmm. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured he had nothing to lose. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. Okay, Yula. My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru desert mythology on his shelves. I highly suspect that he, too, is looking for that domain. Can I come, too? Uh, I think you might need there. Two and one, let's go. You definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru. And I, uh, I think I have what it takes to be that person. Plus, it's a Force Ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. Yep. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kale. Party grows bigger and stronger still. What's you to this, Captain Klee? I think it's so super cool! Aww. I read in a storybook that on your own you can only have a drop of happiness, but in a group you have a whole ocean. So you mean the more the merrier, Klee? So I'm sure Mom's friend will be super happy if I show up and visit and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. Oof. That's the spirit. In that case, let's get magic invite to take us there. No. Hmm. I did not have a say. Wow. Nice. This desert is huge. You're going to get sand in your eyes. Wow. What an incredible sight! You're definitely getting sand in your eyes. Yes. The scenery is quite magnificent. And your clothes. <clears throat> and the heat headaches. Are you okay, Yua? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than in Mondstadt. You should probably give her water. <clears throat> Kaya. This area doesn't look very habitable, and... I don't Iceman. see a domain entrance nearby either. Oh no. Uh, I, I didn't pronounce the destination.
information wrong. Did I? I mean, I don't think I did. Nope, you got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. Please wait. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. Phew. Hmm. Maybe entrance is hidden under a sand dune. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. We split up. But turn up again. Oh, I'm on so tired and so thirsty. We should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. This magical magic that you know nothing about but decided to use twice, including take you into a desert. Huh? How could that happen? Tumbleweed. Uh-oh. Did I break it by accident? But I didn't do anything. Thought it would back me up. I'm innocent. Uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. If the domain is somewhere nearby... Um, does Miss Honorary Knight have an idea? Instead of us trying to find the domain... Ah, Paimon knows where you're going with this! Yeah, we can try to get in the domain to find us. Interesting approach. Assuming we're right about this magic invite... That is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Oh, I get it now! Plus, I know a super special I trick we can use. Right there. Thank you. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us, too? Of course! Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now, so Klee's not afraid. Well, we just used all three. It looks like... a bottle. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. Yeah, but does it work? Absolutely not. Name, please? It's not my style. I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumerian mythology. So, uh, is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? A domain? In a bottle? Yep, that's true. Guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way in. Come on, reach out with your hand. I'm gonna go touch it. Whee! We made it! Ah, oh, that answers that question. Mm hmm There's a path! I'm gonna go look! Have fun. Hey, don't run off and leave us all behind. Oh, I mean, stay within sight. It's kind of cool. Two more rows. Oh, I was gonna get the teleportation. There's a huge garden here! Yay, garden! Incredible. It looked so small from the outside. Everyone, I suggest that we stop here for a moment. We should take stock of our surroundings before deciding on our next course of action. Since we're in a bottle, has anyone heard the story of the magic bottle? You mean Aladdin? Oh, you mean the one about King Deshret and the genie in a bottle? I've read it before, but I struggled with some of the vocabulary. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not how you pronounce or spell genie. What's the story about, Kaya? Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land. But I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. Bottle Land? Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of a magic bottle. But if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. <gasps> oh. Okay, I got it. I'll stay with group from now on. Hmm. 
You sense it too, don't you, Kali? Something's not quite right. Yeah, the scenery here is beautiful, but <laughs> it's too quiet. And there's no sign of Kali's auntie desert here anywhere. Because it's like a little land in a bottle, like the magic teapots in Lele. Maybe I desert lives way further down inside. <laughs> this place is super big, just like Fischl's Immer Nachfreisch. Fischl's what now? We still have a long way to go. Guess we won't run until we get there. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll meet her soon. Hello? Hello? Well, I guess it's not a place for me to teleport. It has to be. I guess it's the teleportation waypoint that I have. Okay. I didn't have to do anything to get it. That's fine. This is a really cool place. Definitely is pretty summery. Hmm. The map or the mini map shows me that there is something like in this area, but maybe if I climb this we'll find it. Unless climbing it makes me miss it, but you know. So we were just there. Ah! Ah! That did not go. Oh, this is what it was. A joyeux voucher. Okay. place though. Can't say it's not. There's some shiny things down there. But there's also a chest up here. Hmm. <laughs> Hello strange people things. Oh. Yeah. Just you guys. foot on this rope for quite some time. I agree. And the further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. Let's check it out. You mean the bad guys? I guess she'll call an auntie. I gotta run away so it's fun, so I can get my, huh, my stuff. Let's try again. All that 
for huh, some little things. Surprise the value on this. Okay. <laughs> Once we got to the other voucher. Oh, that's a lizard. Okay. Condition. Hmm. If you heard the barking, I think someone needs to go out for a little bit. So we're just gonna start this cutscene, and then I'll take I'll take someone out to go play. Wow! It's a big ball of water. I wonder what it feels like. Can I touch it? It's so big. We Probably pass straight through it. And that'll be the last we ever heard of Paimon. <laughs> That's so scary! Stop killing Paimon the heebie-jeebies! Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then nothing at all will happen. Also true. Hmm. I have a feeling that this could be the core that stains this entire bottle domain. Possible. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size. But all of us still inside. Oof. Yikes. Okay, okay. Pino, touch it. Jeez. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? No. Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... Over there, for example. Oh, that's pretty safe. I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Wait, who was there? A bloob. Very cool. It's, it's the water bomb monster! Ah, the water bomb monster is real! <laughs> it doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? I don't think it's hungry. Are you water droplet? Oh dear. I don't know about it, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Yeah, it seems. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Oh, wait! Don't go! Wait for us! There goes Clee's story. Why stop? It's waiting for us. Maybe you can understand us after all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it now. It's leading the way for us, just like the cats in Mondat. Yeah. Like the cats? How so? When you're walking around in Mondat City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, You'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... The Cat's Tail. Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting. Yeah, like the water droplet's tail. So this is actually a really good spot for us to pause for a second. Sorry about the puppy wanting all of the attention in the world. It's kind of her thing. Um... Yeah, she needs, she needs to go play. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And if I was able to upload on your birthday, well, happy birthday. I'm so glad I was able to do that for you. And please, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more confusion and possibly more Klee. I'm really happy that Klee was in this one because I felt kind of guilty thinking that like, oh yeah, we're not done with the Klee storyline, but we were, so yay. Anyway, um, yeah, that sounds like that's all for me, so more of this bottle dimension next time.